Hi, I'm Peter Gourlay, president and founder of the Maryland Asia Environmental Partnership. I recently had a wonderful opportunity to receive a tour of the facilities of the Institute of Marine and Environmental Technology, housing the world's first completely sustainable aquaculture systems. Throughout the laboratory facilities, scientists led by Dr. Jonathan Zohar are growing such high value fish as cobia, sea bass, the obata, sea brie, and many others. Well, everything that we do here is really driven by the fact that we are running out of fish in our ocean. The world is running out of fish. Uh, people want to eat more seafood because of uh, the understanding of the health benefits associated with the seafood-based diet. So there are more fishermen and they're catching more fish and the oceans cannot give anymore. So we are like responding to this situation and we're developing very innovative technologies to grow fish through aquaculture to farm marine, high value marine fish for aquaculture, like the fish that you see here, but in a way that is completely environmentally responsible. Uh, many countries in uh, Asia are growing fish in large quantities. The problem is that most of the practices right now for aquaculture are not very efficient and also mainly have some big adverse impacts on the environment. Uh, in the Hong Kong area, Vietnam, Thailand, the Philippines, many large cages in coastal water and this is a very pro problematic practice uh, because it has uh, an adverse environmental impact the fish are grown in large density the, uh, a lot of food goes into the water a lot of waste goes into the water the water are completely polluted and as a result the fish become sick uh, their immune system gets compromised and uh, so the system is having both an adversity on the, on the environment, but it's not really optimal condition for growing the fish either. And then, so what we developed here is a unique new generation of agriculture technologies that addresses all these issues. It's land-based, it's uh, contained, it generates no waste that goes back to the environment. Actually, it's zero interaction with the environment. We don't take a drop of water from the environment or the marine coastal water and we don't drain any waste back or discharge any waste back to the environment area. And if you go around the operation here, that you, if you can see that we grow a large variety of fish. We grow the sea bream, which is the orata, very high value fish. We, go, we grow sea bass, which is the bronzini, a very high value fish. We grow cobia. Very high value marine fish, they are all like fish that have been fished out. But we grow salmonids as well. We can grow like, you know, salmon and trout and flounder and grouper, all this kind of fish. So these systems are very, very generic and we can adapt them to accommodate any fish species that the market is interested in, all in one warehouse, all in the same facility, all under one roof.